Let's go by here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cable saver to save your battery cable when something like that has happened. This thing is really bad. I cut it back uh, temporarily and uh, cleaned this out, but it really needs replaced. 10 mil. This one is the negative. So we will remove the negative. I will warn you, like, uh, if you have any, if you have like uh, security system on your car or a radio, be aware that you may have to reset it. So I'm gonna pull this off. If you're wondering, the little nail piece was because this was too big for this skinny little post on this battery. We may have the same issue, so we'll save the nail. So what you're trying to do is figure out where you want to cut it, because you're going to take this end and put it in here and then tighten it. So in this case, I hope you can see, I'm going to cut it about right there, and I just have a pair of dykes, diagonal cutters. This should be down past where the corrosion is. Now because of the access, this is going to, could be a challenge. What I'm doing with these is I'm taking a little small bite at a time. And that end is off. That is junk. And the good news is, hopefully you can see this, it is nice and bright copper. So it's going to provide a nice connection. So to know how much to cut, you should be able to slide it on with this backed out, all right? And if it's a positive, you actually want to cut where it's right here. So it's about a half inch. If it's negative, you can still cut about a half inch and that's good, but you could go a little longer. This is a bit of a pain to cut. I don't have wire strippers that are this gauge. Try not to cut into the cable itself. Okay, now I'm going to make a slit and a do not cut yourself. This is what I, this, my, let me do you my disclaimer. This is what I do, which is not necessarily the safest. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. There, so now I can peel this. You're gonna want to have this at a, this angle so it's not going to get twisted up which unfortunately puts it <laughs> right on the back so I'm, but I'm going to slide this in try to keep all your your wire all in there and this will work fine actually Get it good and snug. <clears throat> good and snug. You're going to slide this back over it, like so. If you have accessories that connect to yours, this is where you would put them. We hook this back up. Now, okay, so in my case, the screw is the wrong way. Is that a problem? 
No, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put it in this other direction. I am trying to avoid, by the way, hooking this back up, because every time I do, it puts power to the car. You might wanna disconnect your positive cable. Now, it is still pretty big. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little nail for this as a spacer. Because this is the negative, you don't have to worry about it hitting any metal pieces on the car, except don't touch the, don't short it to the positive. When you tighten your battery cables up, don't over tighten them. Just make sure they're on and aren't gonna move. If you over tighten them, you're gonna put pressure, you're gonna stress the post where it goes down into the battery and you can cause your battery to go bad that way. So this is on nice and snug. I don't have the accessories, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So that's all there is to it. Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.